Shall I tell you what's out there? Yes, please. The dragon. A beast of such power that if you were to see it whole and all complete in a single glance, it would burn you to cinders. Where is it? It is everywhere. It is everything. Its scales glisten in the bark of trees. Its roar is heard in the wind. And its forked tongue strikes like... Like... <laughs> oh, like lightning. Hi, welcome to Mamie's Plugs. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're digging in deeper into the ultimate mental diet and the aspects of God. Now, this is the tool that you use when you start trying to go into Kaka land. For example, you're imagining sleeping with your special person every night, and during the day you're like, well, I know he's out there. I know he'll show up sooner or later if it comes up. And it's really starting to bug you because it comes up a lot. Or you found yourself going into a story. Or you found yourself, you know, in front of your, you know, on your Facebook. And should I go check on them? Or stuff like that, you know. In other words, giving into the old story. So it's more like, you know, that's just ridiculous, you know, I, I, I'm going to meditate on God, I didn't think that. And you close the Facebook and you do whatever, you shake yourself, you know, don't. <laughs> okay, and today we're going to dig into intelligence and beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It is the same with intelligence. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone has something that they're a genius about. Everyone. And it's hard to know you're a genius about something if you're living in a family of geniuses. Okay. You can see everybody else being a genius except you. And it's really surprising the first time everyone, you know, tells you what a genius you are. And it was something to you is very easy. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, how does every, you know, I don't get it. It's too easy. And my brother would tell me, you know, Rita, it's easy for you. Okay. It's, you're a genius at this. A lot of people are not. And they will pay you to use your genius for them. Oh, <laughs> I know. That sounds like what a dodo, right? You know, but it never occurred to me that something that came so easily to me did not come easily to everybody else. You know, it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know? So, you know, these things had to be pointed out to me. You discover that um, when you meditate, on the aspects of God, for example, intelligence and design. Meditation is a prayer. And that's where you just go somewhere. And let's say you just, you know, go into your backyard, go out on your porch where you have some, you know, trees you can see or grass or something, the sky, and just look at it, you know, and, and then just start thinking about it. That's what meditation is, you know. Well, God is life. Look at that tree. Look at it. It's, it's beautiful. And even if you get really up close, it's beautiful. And I mean, even if you put it under a microscope, the individual cells are beautiful. And the tree is just so beautiful. It's just perfect. Now look, look how strong it is. And there's so many leaves on that tree. It is prosperous. You know? And, and look at all the dead leaves at its base. There's so much abundance. It's infinite. You can't even count it all. And what an intelligent design. I mean, 
the trees take in the carbon monoxide and they breathe out oxygen and we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out the carbon and dioxide and it's a beautiful whole it's magnificent you know my lord life is magnificent and I am blessed to live life I know I'm no less than that tree I mean look at it provides shelter for the birds and the squirrels it provides beauty I mean the beauty of it is it's magnificent now, I mean nobody would want to cut that down it's beautiful and and look at, at all that food it provides for the squirrels and all the branches you could put a million birds up in that tree with a nest it's just beautiful, a beautiful piece of perfection, of life. God is life. I love you. I love you, God. I love you as that tree. That tree is beautiful. And that's what you're doing. You're praising God when you're meditating on God. And the whole question is, are you going to allow your mind, the one that was given to you, to be concerned, think about, worry, plot and plan, you know, for man and all the silly things he does, or are you going to give your mind to God and think about the aspects of God I mean he's he's infinite intelligence who could make anything so perfect and it is an intelligent design I mean you can see it in everything so it's like start meditating on these things thinking about these things you know and if you're a musician you could even, how could I put that into music? How can I work that into my art? You know, I think I'll make a song about that, you know, or whatever it is. You know, there if there's people who do that. I'm just saying that you can use it to, you know, ask, show me how I express this you know and this is asking for the purpose because God tied his hands when he went down and you you have dominion over all that's so you could choose between the one in your head and the outside world and the one in your heart and to get you to make the one in your heart to be like the one in your head and the Bible tells you this over and over and over again if you do this, if you give your moments, if you give your attention, your love to God and only think about God and praise God and love on God, which is loving on life, loving the intelligence, the design behind it all, you know, seeing it, praising it, thinking about it, wondering about it. If you do these things, everything wonderful in the world will come to you. They'll bring it right to you, baby. They'll take you right to it. Okay? You, you, they're so excited that you're finally observing them in action. Okay? And the two are one, and they're waiting for you to come on. Observe them in action. Praise them. That's what the ultimate mental diet does. Okay? And they begin writing your brain to be like the one in your heart. So that when you imagine, you're imagining just like the father would. Okay? 
You're imitating your father. And you get to flavor it with your words. So it's recognizing that when you use this mental diet, all the things that you desire, they know your desires. They're, they're send it. God sends them to you. Imagination has been waiting for it. You know, they know it. Don't worry about that. Okay, you you just I accept all the desires you sent me, and I'm gonna just think about God. You know, and begin, and you know, fall into that meditation. A meditation's going into a rabbit hole. You know, to stop digging in the dirt and start looking at what's all around you because that's God. You're walking in the conscious of the presence of God all day long. You're in his hand. <laughs> all of this. It's him. Isn't he wonderful? He's magnificent. And I love my life. I love God in my life. I love my life. I love it. You know? And then just go off being this way. And they're rewriting your brain while you do this. Because this is what you're thinking about. So that your responses are automatic. They're changing your state of consciousness for you. They're doing it for you. Okay? And now you're going to be just like the rest of mine. Prosperous. Abundant. Rich. Beautiful. And fulfilled. It can't be helped. It can't be helped. Because you're expressing life. And you've just been putting on a little more salt and pepper than you should have been. <laughs> okay. In fact, you went into the, you know, hot and spicy. <laughs>
But this is part of growing up, is discovering something that was always there that you weren't aware of. You, that's why it's a discovery. Okay, and you discover it. So you, you, you're discovering. And, you know, God and imagination are very literal. So there's a thin line. So you go around saying, oh, well, just a dream, daydream. Okay, it'll be just a daydream. But if you say, man, what a great, great daydream. I just love that. That makes me feel good. And then forget it. That daydream's coming your way. You know, so I hope this helps. Think about beauty. It's in everything. Think about the intelligence. And as you're doing it, you start using some of the other aspects of God without even thinking about it. That it's perfect and that it's infinite. You know, you just, you can't help it. Keep it up. That's how you make a money tree. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Hope this helps.